capture images, you will need to enter the Perform Examination module. Before entering this module, just double check to make sure that the processor and scope have been connected and are turned on, as the software will try to connect when entering this module. Also, just double check that you've selected the right patient from the scheduler list. After you've checked these two things, click on the camera flash icon to enter the Perform Examination module. If the connection is successful, the selected scope and serial number will be visible on the top left hand side of the screen. Before you begin capturing images into Enderbase, you will need to start the examination. You can do this by pressing that start button or by pressing the designated trigger button on the scope or camera head that has been configured to capture images. This is usually button four on the camera head, but this can vary depending on how your scope buttons have been customized. After the examination has started, the start button will change to an end button. You can take images by either pressing the designated button on the Olympus scope or camera head, which is normally button four, or by clicking the release button. You can also press the F4 button on the keyboard to trigger images. You will hear an audible photo capture sound when the image is taken. Under the release button, you will be able to see how many images have been taken so far for this examination. In this case, we've captured four images so far, as you can see. You can also record video by clicking on the record button under the moving images title, or by pressing F5 on the computer keyboard, and then pressing end once you've finished recording. 